Since the Waldo Canyon fire, 6.8 miles of the Waldo Canyon Trail remain closed. This popular site averaged 95,000 visitors per year, but now its accessibility and usefulness are up in smoke. Federal funds brought a quick response to address immediate stabilization efforts, but over time, the funding, like the land, began to erode. Now that we're a couple years past the start of the fire, a lot of those federal funds have dried up. Um, where Rocky Mountain Field Institute comes in is we fill that niche. It costs a ton of money to do restoration. One, two, three. Money for all the work they do. Money for the manpower, materials, and native seeds to restore what once was. Money for tools and time money to keep their progress and the land off of life support. And is greatly appreciated by organizations like us that require those funding sources to help us implement these important restoration efforts. Efforts with non-stop challenges. With fires come floods, a double dose of damage for an organization trying to heal an area pounded by nature's wrath. Much of the trail has been completely washed away and you know the Forest Service has no plans to open the trail right now. It's important for people to understand this is not a sprint. One, two, three. This is a marathon. Fire restoration doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen in a year, it doesn't even happen in a few years. It's estimated that this area is gonna to return to pre-fire conditions in terms of its watershed health and function in about 80 years. The restoration work and the trail work, it's important ecologically, but one of our biggest parts of our mission is to get people outside. They come out and they see the damage or they see the trail work that needs to be done and they are engaged with the land. They pass that down to their kids and their kids' kids and get them to love the lands where they work and play. A lot of important work is being done because of volunteers who say it's difficult to see the area once green and full of life now dead and falling apart. We walk in the trail the other day and trees are falling in front of us and everything. So it's kind of dangerous, but it's kind of sad if you think about it. The Rocky Mountain Field Institute encourages everyone to participate, reestablishing this cherished Colorado land. Come out, get dirty, grab a shovel and, and donate time as, as well as, as money because we love those funds as well. <laughs> Can't do the work without the money. In Colorado Springs, Craig Coffey, Fox 21 News.